This gaming monitor is absolutely huge. Gaming monitors these days come in all shapes and sizes with some pretty impressive specs, and the one we're looking at today is no different. This is the FO48U from Gigabyte Aorus, and as you can see, not only is this rather large at 48 inches, it's also 4K and utilizes OLED technology, which certainly takes your gaming experience to another level. So join me as we dive in and take a look at this monster of a monitor. So yes, today we're going to be taking a look at an impressive monitor which boasts some pretty high-end specs for gaming and enjoying media. Now I know what you're thinking, at first glance this looks like more of a TV than a monitor and you wouldn't be blamed in thinking that. This monitor certainly shares a lot of similarities with TVs and I would say probably fits in somewhat of an overlap between a monitor and a TV. Gaming monitors typically tend to be smaller in size than TVs, running higher refresh rates for fluid PC gaming, whereas TVs can be much larger in size with a lower refresh rate more tailored to console gaming. However, this monitor has managed to take the best of both worlds. So before we get into the nitty gritty, let's get this thing unboxed and see what's inside. When unboxing a monitor of this size, the experience is certainly similar to that of unboxing a TV. The FO48U comes packaged very nicely with plenty of protective packaging to prevent it from getting damaged, which is always good to see. Aside from the monitor itself, inside the box you also get a pretty standard collection of cables including power, HDMI, DisplayPort, USB-B upstream, a remote and then your warranty and manual. The monitor also comes with two legs included which I've already installed here but the installation process is about as simple as it gets. And as I mentioned, another similarity with a TV is the fact that this monitor also comes with an included remote which we'll get onto more a little later on. Taking a look at the aesthetics of the monitor, I must say this is a thing of beauty. The panel is extremely thin which is always very nice to see and the bezels on here are almost non-existent so you're able to get beautiful full coverage across the screen with minimal intrusion when gaming or watching movies which is great for that more immersive feel. The monitor legs are pretty simple in design but personally I think they look very sleek and adds to the nice aesthetics of the monitor. In terms of connectivity, over on the left hand side of the monitor you have two HDMI 2.1 ports, a DisplayPort 1.4, a USB Type-B upstream connection, two USB 3.0 ports, a USB Type-C with fast charging support, a headphone jack and a line out for speakers. But just beware, if you are planning to use a console with this monitor, the HDMI ports are limited to 24 Gbps instead of 48, so your console will be forced to use compressed HDR, which won't look quite as rich as a full-speed port. Moving back onto the panel itself, and as I mentioned, this is a 4K OLED display, which also has a 120Hz refresh rate and utilizes a 10-bit display with a DCI P3 color gamut for absolutely stunning visuals. Honestly, the camera really does not do this screen justice. It looks absolutely beautiful visually and is one of the nicest screens I've ever gamed on. If you've never gamed on an OLED monitor before, I would absolutely recommend it because they look so much crisper and more vibrant than a VA, TN or IPS panel that you would usually see in a monitor. And I'm not surprised at the quality as this monitor actually shares the same panel as the LG C1 which is of course a TV rather than a monitor so again there is this sort of crossover between being a monitor and being a TV. But that's just about where the TV similarities end and the big difference that you're getting here is that you get to enjoy the same panel at a much lower price with the FO48U coming in around £829 compared to the C1 at around £1100. As mentioned, the monitor is a 10-bit display which utilizes a DCI P3 color gamut with 98% coverage and 130% of the sRGB color spaces which provides incredibly rich and vibrant colors with fantastic color accuracy which is a big boost to the overall experience and is also great for content creators. The contrast levels are superb with the vibrant colors paired with true blacks due to the OLED technology allowing the 8 million pixels to be controlled individually allowing them to scale all the way down to complete darkness and provide incredible picture quality and HDR performance. One drawback is that this monitor only has an 800 to 900 nit peak brightness which is a little low however with the high contrast levels it still offers extremely good HDR performance. Gaming on this monitor is certainly a very pleasant experience. 
I hooked it up to my PS5 to take advantage of the 120Hz gaming and was extremely happy with the fluid and vibrant visuals and overall quality. I played through multiple different games on here and I was blown away by just how good they looked, especially in more cinematic games. And of course, it's not just gaming that looks good on here. Movies and media are also a pleasure to behold with the vibrant colours and contrast making the viewing experience extremely desirable. The audio quality is also extremely impressive for a monitor. The FO48U includes a soundbar across the bottom which packs larger and more powerful speakers than a lot of monitors. And this provides a very clean and balanced audio with good bass levels and distortion free detail. While gaming on this monitor through a console does have the effect of forgetting that this isn't a TV and allows you to be immersed as if you were gaming on one, you can of course also play on here using your PC and the monitor offers a lot of features that you wouldn't get on a TV. Firstly of course you can connect via DisplayPort which provides a higher bandwidth connection than the HDMI ports. It also offers protective features like auto dimming which kick in instantly when you maximise a window. It even integrates with Gigabyte's OSD Sidekick software allowing you to hotkey picture settings to access in-game. The monitor also has a dashboard feature allowing you to monitor your PC hardware information in real time such as your CPU and GPU as well as your FPS counter in-game. So while this may look a lot like a TV, it has a lot more PC oriented features to make it preferable to trying to connect an actual TV. It does lack some of the smart TV features like internet browsing or streaming services, but all of those can be done through console and PC, so it's not a huge deal. Now, as this is an OLED screen, you will likely be worried about things like burn-in, but Gigabyte has done their best to cover you here too. The monitor uses an automatic static brightness limiter that dims the screen when it's not being used. After 5 minutes of inactivity, the brightness reduces 30%, then 50% after 10 minutes, and completely after 15. If you're using a PC, it also has an auto brightness limiter which progressively dims the screen when there is more white areas displayed to protect the panel and the longevity of the pixel lifespan. As mentioned earlier, the monitor does also come with a remote control and this allows you to adjust certain settings such as the picture mode and audio settings. And you can also navigate through the built-in menu to more finely tune the settings to your liking. If you're intending to use this monitor with a PC, this won't likely matter as much, but if you are using it with a console, it's a nice little touch. So is this monitor worth getting? Well, honestly, that will depend entirely on what you're looking for in a monitor. With a 48 inch display, this is certainly a great option if you want a large screen for more immersive gameplay, but of course you will either need the desk space or to mount it due to its size. The 4K OLED panel is absolutely stunning with incredible levels of colour vibrance and accuracy as well as amazing contrast and HDR performance which is bound to get any gamer excited. It's certainly a much better looking screen than any IPS or VA panel I've ever used. The only trade-off here for PC gaming is the 120Hz refresh rate, so if you're planning on using it with a PC, you'd need to decide whether you want stunning picture quality or a higher refresh rate. But if you're using it with a console, then this isn't an issue. The FO48U comes in cheaper than some of its competitors such as the LG C1 and Ultragear 48GQ900 with a retail price of £829, but can often be found cheaper than that, so it's a great option if you want 4K OLED 120Hz gaming under £1,000. I certainly love gaming on here and will be using this monitor plenty in the future. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please drop a like and show the algorithm that you're enjoying the content. And of course, let me know your thoughts on this monitor down in the comments. Have you gamed on an OLED before? What monitor do you currently use? Even drop your favourite game, it all helps with the algorithm. If you want more content, feel free to check out my other socials like my TikTok, Instagram and X pages which are all linked in the description or join my Discord server to hang out and chat more about tech and gaming. Thanks again and I'll see you all in the next video. See you later.